this drive. To throw is Breeze. He's going to launch this thing. Oh, Matt, let's go, pick. Let's go. Is it for the defense to account for running? Essentially being a receiver downfield. Oh, get on that. Let's go. User alert. Let's go. Ooh, good. Yeah. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. If I got a defense for you today, to me, this is without a doubt the best. This this adjustment I'm about to share with you will probably take over the game the same way that the pinch buck O has taken over the game and a lot of other defenses. The way that you know man blitzing has taken over the game. This is gonna basically flip that on its head and make this to me the new meta. Like this is just without a doubt going to be one of the hardest to stop, one of the hardest to penetrate defenses in the game, and I'm going to share that with you today. This is something that I've been working on. I've been using, just like you guys, I've been using the same 3-4 odd, I've been using the same pinch bucko, I've been using the same cover 3, um, you know, cover 4, drop show 2, uh, you know, pretty much just like everybody else, I mean, if, if you're smart enough anyway. There's not really a lot of great, uh, the, the zone coverages really don't seem to work this year. You really can't blitz too crazy, like some of the blitzes really don't work, there aren't a, lot, a ton of really good blitzes out there. Um, the way this game is, you pretty much have to have like an elite defensive lineman of some kind to get pressure. Uh, and like I said, the zones just don't really work. So I don't know if that's EA's master plan um, to, you know, basically just save like workable, you know, zone man coverages and stuff like that for the players with X factors. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, but basically what I'm going to do today is, like I said, I'm going to give you a base defense that's going to work and shut down everything. Like when I say everything, I mean everything. Like this is going to shut down runs, passes. Uh, you'll get some, you know, you'll get sacks. You'll get turnovers. You'll get a million picks. You know what I mean? Like this is the pick six defense. You know what I'm saying? This is a, this is pick city defense right here. So I'm going to pick one play and one play only. This play, you can run the entire game. It's pretty much start to finish. You can run this defense and it's going to be locked down, like I said, against everything. I'm going to pick the pinch buck. Oh, one more time because like I said you're probably using this defense anyway so you can use the blitz if you're using that but to me I don't I'm not comfortable using that blitz I feel like you give up a lot of you can give up a lot of big plays by using that blitz so I'm gonna make this a, ba a base defense so to set up this defense I mean first of all this defense everybody's running this online you should know by now how to beat this defense I mean a lot of people are hitting slants slants are cool and all but if you don't know, if you really want a quick easy tip on how to beat this power so these overpowered man blitzes run the bench switch Run the bench switch and you will be hitting home runs left and right. Like, it's so easy to hit a home run against this defense in the bench switch. I was going to make a video on that, too, on how to beat that type of defense. But, like I said, that's, there's a little preview. Bench switch. Boom. Touchdowns. Easy. So, basically, um, you know, that's this is, like I said, this setup here, I compare it to cross manning because I'm going to do the exact opposite of what the NFL does to make sense. Like I said, cross manning, typically what cross manning was, was you would, like, hit, you would man cover, like, the Y route from like a cornerback all the way over here. Like in Madden, I don't remember what Madden it was, but maybe Madden 16 or something like that. And it would be shut down. Like if any crossing route came, it would shut that down. It'd be running airtight on it. So like I said, the same way that that made no sense in real life NFL, pretty much is what I'm gonna do here. So instead of playing like a, like a typical cover two, where the safeties are, are back playing zones, which is like I said, that's typical NFL, right? I'm gonna do the exact opposite. I'm gonna run this play like this, and I'm gonna have my my cornerbacks in the man coverage are essentially gonna be playing, they're being they're man, but they're gonna be playing like my zone coverages. And then underneath, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm zone all, and these guys are gonna be my, um, you know, these are gonna basically be my man coverages, like underneath. Like I said, it's a complete reverse. I don't know if I'm explaining that cor correctly, but I'm not gonna have any deep safeties. Essentially, if I really want like deep coverage, I'll just play these guys back. Like that's essentially, if, if I don't wanna give up anything long, but typically, you know, like the man coverages, just like they are base are pretty good. Like they cover deep well, you know what I mean? So like I said, I'm gonna set this up where I'm taking away everything short and there's basically, everybody's gonna be double covered. So like I said, we're shutting down everything within 30 yards, easy money. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to, um, we're gonna, like I said, we're just gonna hit the, the, the D pad to the right and then we're gonna hit up on the right stick and then we're gonna zone all. Then I'm gonna hit D pad. You can do this one of two ways. If you're if you're old school, you can cycle over to the player, hit A over them, and then you can curl flat or hard flat. I find this takes a little bit more time, 
but what you can do because like i said i'm going to be using the closest guy on the line of scrimmage typically like with this linebacker i'll take away that tight end or i can you know the slot receiver is a little bit too far out so I'll, I'll typically let him go but if i what i what i can do if i want to do a quick a little bit faster hit d-pad twice to the right brings up my icons hit the hit the x-pad then uh, hit hit the uh left stick to the to the right and then boom i got your you got your double curl flats but this is essentially going to be the play like I said, if it's third and ten or something like that, you can run you can run the curl flats. If it's like third and two, obviously you want to run hard flats. Uh, but this is it. You don't have to make any other adjustments. You're setting it up just like this, and you're gonna see how this play just essentially just locks down all over the field. Anything, like I said, anything in 30 yards, there's no openings at all. So like I said, I'm gonna take away the tight end route. I actually messed it up. But like I said, we're double covering everybody. As you can see right there. So let's go ahead and let's go to the replay. Like I said, I kind of. Like, uh, this defense is so overpowered as far as coverage. I get lazy on the sticks. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Running this, like, I don't really have to be, like, lights out defender like normally. So right there, I don't know. I guess the route, the way he ran the route, I thought he was going into the flats. And then he comes back, and like I said, I just, underneath is gone. Over the top is gone. You know what I'm saying? You got double coverage, almost triple coverage, the way this guy's converging, too. And then look at the other routes. I mean, the other routes, you got high, low everywhere. You know what I mean? Every route is double covered. He can't go outside there. Inside here, obviously, this guy's double covered. You know what I mean? Outside here, this guy's double covered. You're double covering the entire field. Like, there's just nothing going to be open. So, like I said, the same way that Crossman was, like, ass backwards. I shouldn't say <laughs> I should say it's ass backwards defense because it is. All the zones underneath are typically not how you run this, this play. You know what I mean? This is not. This makes no sense in an NF, from an NFL perspective. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm I'm not gonna press either. Like I don't want these guys like in the other in some blitzes. Like you want to press and you know take away. You know just basically just jam off the route. I don't want to do that. I'm just gonna run a basic. You know what I'm saying? Just just leave it as it is because I don't essentially. You know, like I said, there the man coverages are playing essentially like the safeties, and then these guys are playing like a robber concept. So like let's go ahead and let's run it like this. It's just it's just insane. And you'll get heat too. You'll get covered sacks. You know what I mean? Like, look at this. Uh, there's. Oh, I just totally messed it up. I, I took away the guy that should have made the tackle, but he still lost two yards. So, like I said, real simple setup. You're hitting, you know, D pad right up on the right stick, then D pad double, then pick my guys. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have as much time to set these defense this this up the same way you do, um, you know, in, in years past because of the uh, the no huddles and stuff like that. The run defense is, is is solid too. Like, it's just a solid run defense. So up, you know, deep out, you don't have to like pinch and spread and all that stuff. You can, you know what I mean? Like if you think like, it's, I just don't, you don't, I don't think you need to do anything else, honestly. Like you can just leave it as is. And then, you know, obviously you just got to get these, these outside zones, you know, where they got to be. That's probably the hardest part in the short condensed time frame that you have uh, in a lot of plays. And then, like I said, I mean, if I was hard flat, you didn't get any yards anyway, but if I was hard flat in that, imagine that, you know what I'm saying? That's the, really the hardest part is guessing what type of hard flats you want. Or what type of flat flat beaters you want? As I accidentally, I think I messed the whole thing up right there. So let's, like I said, we're just gonna, you know, this is a four wide set, no problem. This scenario, I probably want to spread the line. You know, what I'm saying I would spread the line here because I want that extra space to the sidelines. And I'm thinking cloud flats might be a better look too. So let's just go ahead and let's do that. I just went, you know, coverage underneath and then over the top. That was essentially all that was. So double coverage all over the field. Nothing is open. I said we're getting that pick though. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the computer just throws these picks so easy, and your user's gonna throw them like crazy too. And then I can just put these guys on, on hard flats or whatever. Like I said, it's really my choice: hard flats, cloud flats, whatever I want to do, uh, wherever I think the ball's gonna go. Come down the gap the same way. Uh, I don't need feel the need to. And um, you know, I can just roll in the middle. Look at that. I'm a, I picked off the user. Well, I should have used it myself. But you, it, it, you know it's tough when you're making Carson Wentz, who's a pretty good quarterback, on all mad. I'm going to show the settings to throw bad balls like that and throw picks. I'm going to show the settings real quick because, like I said, I try to do this in every video now so nobody says, oh, it's on, you know, it's on rookie. You know what I mean? Like somebody even accused me of messing with the sliders. And i got to be honest with you. I'm not even sure I know where the sliders are. Where the hell are the sliders in this game? I haven't messed with the sliders in forever. You know what I mean? Like I said, it's, I haven't touched anything. It's the exact same shit. So these stupid accusations are just getting annoying. Like I said, I mean, this is, you know, there's really not a lot of great zone coverages in this game. You really have to have man. And you can see this is essentially man. I mean, I have everybody manned up except for the running back. You know what I mean? Hopefully he'll drop into one of these zones or something. Like I said, boom, look at that. Another pick. Like, this is just pick city. Like, for real. But you can use this concept with pretty much any defense. I mean, before I end this video, I mean, you have, like, similar setups that I use. Like, if I'm running, like, draft champions or something, uh, I'll use, like, there's, uh, if I get a 3-4 book, like the Panthers. I really like the Panthers. I could do the exact same setup 
out of like the free fire or the edge sting. It's like the, the concept is all that matters. It's not necessarily the, the formation. So remember that. So whatever your favorite defense is, you can find a variation of this. Other than that, like I said, I'm going to end the video. If you want to see more defense, hit the like button and I'll do that. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Man, we shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.